Well, you know, fall is here, and for many people, that means it's time to swap out the clothes in your closet. And this morning, we're focusing on men's fashion. Or well, our very own fashion expert, Cor Harlan. He's live in downtown Portland. Yes. He's at a new men's clothing store to talk fall fashion, Cor. Oh, yes, a fashion icon. You're standing in front of one right now here. Uh, we are at uh, Nakamura Ya, which is on Southwest 9th, just off of West Burnside. I said the name correctly, did I not? Nakamura, yeah, all right. Bronwyn uh, Nakamura here and uh, Mitsu uh, are both here with us this morning. Thank you for being up this morning. We have so many things to talk about here. Denim a little bit later, some of the heritage t-shirts that they have here that are really cool. But we've all got on right now some uh, camouflage gear, which is apparently, I didn't know this, quite popular in Japan. Yes, it is very popular in Japan. Quite popular here as well, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's, I, I just want to show some of the, some of the uh, get out of the way here. You guys, don't you guys get out of the way because I need somebody to talk with me here. Tell me a little bit about some of the, some of the brands here and the quality of these goods because you say that a lot of really good quality brands have grown out of military gear, correct? Yes, I believe that the design is very minimal and functional. So a lot of brands are inspired by them and it's just so beautiful and yeah clean and simple we just showed you just showed me where is this pant this cargo pant here for instance this is a 19 this is based on a what did you say a 1952, 1952 car the world's first cargo pants uh -huh. mm -hmm. this was this this pair is not obviously the not world's pair, first but, but this was modeled right this started in the military and it had cargo pockets on it the big kind of cargo pockets on it and that is gosh how long is that that is translated into into just so many different garments that are built like this correct yes correct exactly so those are pants right there and look and it's you know the fall weather is coming up here so they've got I'll just run through some of the things here sort of more traditional and we're not sure uh, we're not sure why we've been talking about this here for a half an hour or so we're not sure why uh, necessarily uh, this sort of uh, camo gear is so popular in Japan. We're not sure what the significance of that is, but in both American and European camo gear, very popular in Japan and a great way to fend off a lot of the rain, Jenny and Ken, that is certainly coming our way. And they've got a whole rack of this stuff, as you can see, all sorts of sizes and all. Look at that. Now that is a beautiful, warm winter wear right there. So Come on down here and check it out. We are at Nakamura Ya. We, again, we are on Southwest 9th, just off of West Burnside here. Come on and get your camo gear needs taken care of in a big way. Jenny and Ken? Yeah, it's pretty popular right now, actually. I just mm -hmm. bought a pair of workout pants that are camo. Yeah. So, yeah. Cor, they're on to mm -hmm. something. Right. Yep, they are. she says they're on to something with the camo gear. <laughs> She's got a pair of workout pants that are camo gear. I don't know why you have camo workout pants, but... <laughs> Just because, yeah. in cool. case I need to hide in the bushes. Yeah. You know? In case you're <laughs> ready to go. Case you need to yeah, plus it's a style, and yeah. we yeah. know Jenny is stylish. I mean, this so, is true. You know, this is true. She's stylish, gotta be up right. on everything that's, that's going right. on right. in the fashion world. So. <laughs> Thank you, Gord. Right. Thanks, Gord. <laughs>